dear students in this video we are going to discuss about optical fiber bending laws aim of this experiment is to determine the losses in optical fiber in decibels db is decibel that means the loss is measured by the unit is decibel okay so decibels due to macro bending of the wire so by bending the wire we are going to find how much loss is present in this optical fiber so the apparatus required are fiber optic kit optical fiber cable of length 1 meter even 3 meter and 5 meter any meter we can choose for this experiment mandrel connecting wires so the fiber optic kit consists of two things one is the transmitter that is it is going to transmit the light and then receiver it is going to receive the light so how the setup will be here you see one end transmitter will be there other end receiver should be there okay so i will mention t here transmitter and r here receiver so in this we are going to connect the optical fiber so we are going to connect the optical fiber like this okay so now without bending what is the power that should be considered it as pi p input without bending okay the light is passing inside the optical fiber from transmitter to receiver so first value without bending we have to take down the value that gives the power input right and then by using the mandrel this is the mandrel i am going to keep here and then i am going to turn the, that means i'm going to make the turn i'm going to make the bending in this optical fiber so after that we have to measure the output so that should be p out okay so first without bending we have to take the value that shows the input power and after making the turns actually in this experiment we are going to make three turns okay first turn what is the output we have to take down and the second turn what is the output we have to take down and the third turn what is the output we have to take down and the first without any pending we have to take the value that is the power input okay so in this way we are going to perform the experiment so now let us get into the lab to do this experiment let us see the apparatus required for this experiment and then how to give the connection and how to do the experiment so first let me explain about the apparatus fiber optic strainer board so here this is the uh, transmitter and this is the receiver so one is transmitter and another one is receiver part and this is the power input knob and then what are all the apparatus required is board and then cable so this is three meter cable i have taken for this experiment and then this is the multimeter through which we are going to take the values so here we have to set for voltmeter this is v voltmeter from 2 we have to start uh, start doing our experiment and then this is the mandrel to make the turn of this optical fiber to make uh, bending of this optical fiber two different diameters we are using right so let us start how to give the connection the connection is very simple here we have to take this fiber optics wire and then we have to connect in this both the end transmitter as well as in the receiver end so transmitter to receiver we have to give the connection of this optical fiber and then take this multimeter take this multimeter here PO plus positive and then here PO negative okay and then switch on this so now without bending without bending the value is 0.506 so now in here 1 meter cable they mentioned but here we are using 3 meter cable the value is minus 0.506 this is without bending this i mentioned pi that is the input power next we are going to make the turn number of turns now you see that by using the mandrel we are going to make one turn so now one turn okay so nicely you have to make that bend one turn has done so now once again we will check the values so the turn is one and the value is minus 0.507 okay next we should go to the second turn second turn okay turn is two turn is two and the value is 0 0.0 0.5 Zero 08 okay and make one more one more turn 
so this is the third turn third turn so number of turn is 3 and the value is 0.0509 okay 0 0.509 so now we have taken the values next we have to calculate pi minus p0 this is pi and this is p0 so now how to take the values p in is minus value and p out is also minus value so p in minus p out so minus of x minus of minus y so it will become minus into minus become plus so we will get the plus value so like that we have to calculate the bending loss after finishing experiment in the lab we have noted the values here actually in this experiment i used a 3 meter cable in the lab okay so without bending what is the value we have taken 0.5 Zero 06 okay this is power without bending and then three turns we made first turn 0 0.507 okay and then if i make two turns it is 0 0.508 okay and then three turn 0 0.509 actually all the values we got in negative okay like this we are getting so how to calculate the bending loss bending loss is equal to p input minus p output so let me help how to calculate the value so first one is the formula is p input bending loss in short form i have written p input minus p output so p input is equal to how much minus 0 0.506 minus what is the p output minus 0. 507 so here in the center minus of minus become plus so how it will change minus 0 0.506 plus 0 0.507 so the changes in the third division so we will get plus 0 0.001 okay so this is the value 0 0.001 decibels okay so if you calculate for the same thing second one 0 0.02 okay 0. 003 like that we will get the values okay so in this way we can calculate so by doing this experiment we can find that we observed that when the wire is bending the loss is increased okay this is what we have to understand so please go through this experiment if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment box thank you everyone